a vector is an arrow which can tell us two things how much and direction. The technical term for how much is called magnitude. This vector tells us the direction the car is traveling. The length of the vector tells us how fast the car is traveling. This car is traveling twice as fast, so the vector is twice as long. The orange vector is increasing in length because the car is speeding up. Both velocity and acceleration are vectors because they tell us how much and direction. The red arrow shows the acceleration. Here a man walks five meters to the left, represented by the blue vector. He then walks an additional nine meters to the left, which is represented by the purple vector. We can add vectors to find the resultant. In this case, the resultant is 14 meters to the left. This is the resultant displacement. Here a man walks 9 meters left, then 4 meters right. His resultant displacement is 5 meters left of where he started. When a vector acts at an angle, we can break it up into x and y components. Here's the resultant of the two components. A person goes for a walk. They walk 10 meters east, 7 meters north, then 10 meters west. What is their displacement? If we align the vectors from tip to tail, we see that the resultant displacement is 7 meters north. We can use the tip to tail method to resolve vectors at an angle. Redraw the vectors tip to tail and sketch the resultant. We can use the Pythagorean theorem because these vectors are at a right angle. We can use this method in reverse by starting with the resultant, drawing a rectangle, and then finding the components tip to tail and then putting them back into their original form. For vectors that are not at a right angle, instead of drawing a rectangle, we draw a parallelogram to find the resultant. The tip to tail method works the same way. To draw the parallelogram, we can reorient the vector pair so that one vector is on an axis, in this case the vertical axis. We can then use a protractor to draw two perpendicular lines, a horizontal line and a vertical line that goes through the tip of the red arrow. Using the tip to tail method, we can draw a vector the same length as the blue arrow, tip to tail, to complete the parallelogram. Now we can draw our resultant. Let's walk through this one more time. Rotate the paper and extend one of the vectors using a straight edge. Last time we used the vertical axis, this time we'll use the horizontal. There are two different methods from here. Method one, using a protractor, draw a perpendicular line which passes through the tip of the other vector. Next, draw another vector the same length and form the opposite side of the parallelogram. Complete the parallelogram and draw the resultant. Let's look at the second method. You can measure the angle to draw the parallelogram using the protractor. Move the vector at the same angle tip to tail. Finish the parallelogram and like before, draw in your resultant.
has been a production of the Tricky Trickster Studios. Thanks for watching.